Yes. Yeah, but that's interesting because they know the drill. I mean, especially her. Um, I mean, she's you from know Los what? Angeles. They, they look. They have a likability issue, and uh, I think it, they should have kissed. It would have been a cool moment. Like they're they're average. Oh, they're no, normal it's people. Risky. It's risky. What if they kiss and then there's booze? Well, there were booze, that, right? That there there were bad. some booze when there was a smatter. Yes, uh, Jason Beckerman was in the building. He said there was a smattering of booze. So this is amazing. I am so happy. Look at that. She works with me. No, we're not at the at the thing. We're we're actually at the farm, but we're at a place eating food over there. This is all in one. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. I wanted to do this video because you know we're in the middle of the hacking uh, story, or Harry's in the middle of suing again for hacking, even though that's not very clear. Um, and he feels violated about, you know, his privacy. Anybody who gets hacked should feel violated. And, that, you know, that is illegal. And then I started thinking, because I don't know if you've seen um, that's come out, that somebody sent an email from Prince Harry's um, email address to the, U, uh, to, the Amer to the UN, to the American ambassador to the UN, this you know this lady if you remember Han and Harry actually met with her uh, at the UN and what's really really interesting is yeah there, there's a lot of things to discuss so, so let's get into the video okay guys let's let's read this I, I don't know if you guys remember when Harry and Meghan went to the to visit the UN and people were saying, oh, they're meeting the Secretary General. No, they never did. But then remember they had this picture taken with the, with the ambassador. She is the, the US ambassador to the United Nations, right? And they got a picture taken and they met with her and they talked supposedly about racial justice, racial justice. And of course, you know, all kinds of things, right? And this is what she had to say. Uh, ambassador Thomas Green failed tells students that Prince Harry sent an email to her personal account that read that read from Prince Harry and she deleted it believing it was definitely spam he eventually found her work account this is absolutely I mean you have no idea how serious this is I know people are brushing it off this ambassador is being kind enough to brush it off but it's actually quite serious. Do you want to know why it's quite serious? Because this is confidential information. So when Harry's talking about hacking or stalking, I mean, because he basically goes and says that he felt stalked, that he was chased everywhere, but his information was hacked. Look how easy it was for him to get the personal email address of such a high power position of a lady or of, of the ambassador of the, to the US ambassador to the to the UN and it is very scary we don't know if it was my if I were to guess I taking a shot at it I believe it was Megan who wrote that email in saying Prince Harry because she knows that even using the Duchess of Sussex title people don't care for her so this woman basically got the US ambassadors to the UN ad email address she got her personal email address not her work address her personal email address that sends a horrible Im message because, and I don't understand how nobody's picking on the fact that she got that email or this ambassador didn't question that. Who gave her that personal email, not her work email, her personal email to be receiving information? If I had been that lady, I would have reported them to the police. If it had been anybody else, you would have been reported to the police. And you would have been questioned as to who gave you that email address. And now, and then on top of that, we have Meghan Markle cold calling U.S. senators or Congress people. While calling from a withheld number. 
from a private number so the senators can call her back and identifying herself as Megan the Duchess of Sussex. I'm very surprised that these senators didn't follow this up because that was somebody identifying as the Duchess of Sussex. But we have seen what's happened to them because do you remember when Harry fell for that prank about, um, what's it called, about uh, Gret Greta Thunberg? He thought that it was the environmental person and, and, and it wasn't. I mean, I am very surprised that these senators, or uh, they, they fell for it because they don't know who they were talking to because the number was withheld. I'm surprised that they didn't make more of it and actually went to the authorities because apparently it was some Democrats who gave them the numbers. What I'm trying to get at all of, with all of this is the gravity of the situation that they're able to get the personal details, the personal information of very high profile people. Who is giving this to them? Is Megan being a useful idiot from somebody or higher ups to follow, to pursue an agenda? And using her as this harmless thing, as this idiot, idiot, idiotic tool, and Meghan Markle is lending herself for that? Because it makes, you know, if it had been anybody else, they would, there would have been a police investigation. Because, I mean, th the nerve of this woman to withhold her number as private while calling the person, because she's too important, while calling the personal numbers of the senators email addresses to the UN ambassador, the US ambassador to the UN. And God knows what else this woman is doing. Because I don't see Harry doing that. She put from Prince Harry, why? And this is why we see this ambassador talking to Harry and Meghan Markle. You know, I was wondering how the hell, because they make it sound as though they reach out, like the ambassador's reaching out to Meghan Markle. No, we know now that it's them harassing people through by getting their personal emails, hacking, stalking. Why are they doing that? And why is the Meghan Markle being called out or even prosecuted by the police? But because Meghan Markle should not be contacting these people. I mean, if she can, th this is why these people have offices. So you can contact their offices. It's really scary that it's very easy for them to get the personal email of the U.S. ambassador to the U.N. rather than the work email address, which is the correct thing to do, or the telephone numbers of the, of the senators. And it's, I just, you know, I'm sorry, but it's, I just, I'm thinking, this is very rich of Harry and Meghan to be demanding privacy while they're violating other people's private information, private space. This is information that was not given to them because it would have been a different thing if, for example, Harry and Meghan Markle had reached out to the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations via work and she had given them authorization to use her personal email. That would be a different story. But the fact, look at the psyche of Meghan Markle, that the fact that she feels entitled to get somebody else's private information and it, people should be asking, how are they getting personal information of very high profile IPP people? Because the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, she's an IPP. Because, of course, she's a diplomat. You know, she's an ambassador to the United Nations. She's an IPP. So their information is treated as highly confidential and a need-to-know basis. And if they wish to share it. The personal telephone numbers of U.S. senators is personal. They have a work number. Um, I don't know, if, and I really believe that somebody is using Meghan Markle and feeding her this information. And it, I got to go with Gloria Steinem. I mean, the Royal Griff just did a huge thing about Gloria Steinem working for the CIA. Because you see somebody, the person who gave Meghan Markle and Harry the, the, uh, the ambassador's email address, personal email address, they want to send a message, is that I don't care what you did. I don't care who you are. We can get to you. We can give your personal information to anybody else. It's pretty, pretty scary and very rich of them now that they're talking about hacking and some other stuff. I mean, it's, it is actually quite unreal. And Megan is a very dangerous 
poisonous person. He keeps talking about being linked, not ranked, right? Well, Meghan Markle has some very, very dangerous links. You know, you, you start with Tyler Perry, with Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey is linked to Obama. She's linked to Harvey Weinstein. And Meghan is linked to Harvey Weinstein through Soho House. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein is also linked with Harvey Weinstein. And Meghan Markle is linked to all of them. You know, the Biden family. I, I'm sorry, forget politics, but they are criminals. This is not like, I mean, Joe, I don't know why, why Hunter Biden is being prosecuted about is, is facing child s support things. This man should be very much investigated. And you know, the lawsuit against uh, the U.S. government, I was watching the Black Belt Barrister. The case, he actually read the documents. The case is actually very well put together by the Heritage Foundation. And it's a lot more serious than what they're leading themselves on. And, and the court will have to issue a ruling. And it'll be very, they, they will be very hard pressed not to kick Harry out for him to face a conviction or something. Because just lying, if he lied, that's a minimum of five years from what I believe. I think it was five years unless it was reduced. And on top of that, if he's doing drugs, as he admitted of doing in the book, he's committing another crime in the United States because... He's not bound by state law. He's bound by federal law. So it is actually something very, very incredible that this is allowed to happen. Because how did Meghan Markle get the ambassador's email address? Personal. And who else? And who is covering for them? Why isn't the police going after them? Who is supplying these things for Meghan Markle? Meghan Markle has some very serious, dangerous links. The owner of Soho House, this guy is incredibly well connected. He's, he's, a, he's not like Jeffrey Epstein in the sense that as far as we know, he has not, you know, essayed any woman. But I would not put blackmail past him because he has very powerful men coming then and he hires all these startlets like Meghan Markle to hang around them at Soho House. This guy came out of nowhere. And it's very, very powerful. So who is feeding Meghan Markle all these personal, incredibly highly confidential details? And what is she doing with them? Is she being used to send these people a message? Because, and why aren't there any more questions being asked? Hmm. I thought it was, she was yeah. treated so disrespectfully by Meghan and just no reason to do that. I was actually surprised that Harry was invited, to be honest. I think there was never any question about whether he would want to come or not. It was a question at one point of whether he'd be invited, I think. You know, from what I understand, the Sussexes had to wait for some time to really get that confirmation that they were 100% welcome mm -hmm. at this event. Of course, this all follows the release of Spare. But for Harry, there was certainly no question about it. Ultimately, he's fifth in line to the throne. He's a councillor of state. There's a serious constitutional reason for him to be here and he still takes that seriously even though he's not a working member of the royal family also now that you've seen what omit scooby has said just now about harry there was never a question of him i'm sorry about my eye oh, tomorrow i'm going to the doctor it's going to be so painful um it's um how oh, there was never a doubt in Harry's mind that he was coming to the graduation uh, to the graduation coronation. It was a, whether or not he was welcome, not invited, but welcome. Now, what he says next is actually quite scary. And if you look at this because of the coronation, nobody's talking about it. Remember, there were talks about Harry or the um, how Charles instead of reducing the number of uh, counselors for state, he's asking to increase it so as not to remove Harry and Prince Andrew. Um, instead of modifying the law so only working royals residing in the United Kingdom can be head, uh, counselors of state because that's a very powerful position. Please keep in mind that if anything happens to Charles and he, Harry is a counselor of state in the United Kingdom, a man who has lied, defamed, uh, it's causing a lot of hatred, hatred, divide in the United Kingdom. He's a counselor of state. A man who has publicly stated he's a counsel, he dislikes 
the United Kingdom, that he gets trauma, er, traumatized every time he has to come to London. So for me, the fact that he's still counselor of state and omits Kobe says it as though it's, of course, he's counselor of state. It was very important to Harry. He takes that role very seriously. What role? Why is this man? Why are people not questioning this at all? It's actually quite scary. And we have an idiot like Harry who, thanks to his position as a counselor of state to the monarch in the United Kingdom, the fact that he's still in the line of succession, the, fi the fact that he's still included in the royal website, you know, and that he's invited to the coronation. I agree with, uh, with uh, Donald Trump. Why was he even invited? He literally is an enemy of the state. He is an enemy of the state. He hates the monarchy. He's not suing the newspapers because if you, if you look at what he's saying, he's not talking about, oh, the newspaper. No, he's saying that his family did all of that to him. Then why isn't he suing his family instead of suing the newspapers? He should be going after his family for preventing him from exercising his legal rights, not the newspapers. This whole thing is a mess. And this idiot is getting private confidential information of high profile uh, IPPs and giving them to Meghan Markle to exploit them and actually do really, really stupid things just to enhance her image. And what is worse is that these people are still allow them. If I had been this ambassador and I'm going to call her out, why did you sit with them? Why did you not call the police and, and tell them not to call, teach them th some boundaries? Why isn't anybody teaching Meghan Markle the meaning of the, of the word boundary? I don't get it. I really don't get it. I mean, please give me your thoughts.